Hi there, my beautiful birdies. Welcome back to the nest or welcome in if you're new here. So today we have a really special reading. It is all about your inner child. And this morning I was actually just, um, actually I, I had this feeling of like, maybe I should do an inner child meditation. And I couldn't find the video that I usually do. So I was like, oh, I remember I had an inner child, pick a card. Um, and then I was watching it and he hit home. <laughs> it was like exactly what I needed to hear and it made so much sense. I was like, you know what? Let's update this video a little bit and let's make another one. Um, so yeah, I was just, today we're being impulsive and just, you know, following my Leo side and being creative and just going with the flow. <laughs> so with that being said, we are going to look into the most important messages from your inner child. It may get emotional, so grab your box of tissues, <laughs> but or not, or not, it can actually get pretty exciting and pretty cool. But with that being said, uh, we have four beautiful pals with us, as always. If you're interested in pile number one, this is going to be the Unikite Crystal. For pile number two, we have some Aquamarine. For pile number three, we have some Amethyst. Good old my Amethyst. And for pound number four, we have some Angelite. All right, so as always, you can choose by the crystals, you can choose by the timestamps, they're gonna be down below. Maybe there's a significant number for you there. Um, but whenever you're ready, you can also pause the video right now to connect with your cards a little bit. But with that being said, whenever you're ready, I will see you over there. Hello, hello, my pal number one. Welcome into your reading. So if you chose the Unikide, you're definitely in the right place. Let's get right into it. So one thing that I was picking upon was this feeling of loss, this feeling of confusion. Um, by the way, we're going to look at this right at the end. This is going to be some messages from your inner child. But like I was saying, I was feeling this feeling of loss when I was picking up in uh, your your energy and your inner child's reading uh, in, oh my God, words i was paying up into your inner child energy and picking your cards um shuffling your cards for you so let's see where we go with that but it, it feels like maybe you don't really know where you're going you don't really know what is happening maybe you're confused if you should go in one direction or another maybe you're at this crossroads um but let's see no better way than to look into some cards so we have you're not alone isolation physical connection community we also have star seed what lights you up Panda, balance, ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. And we also have take yourself out on a date. Okay. So I kind of, this is giving me a big vibe of you need to spend some time alone. And I was actually feeling like uh, with this, you're not alone, isolation, physical connection, community. I do feel like it is okay for you to connect with friends and for you to ask for that help and try to see if they can bring you some information. But I feel like right now your inner child just needs a little talk, just needs a little chat in direction more than anything and i don't think that you're going to get that direction from someone else i feel like that direction can only come from you um it can only come from your self-talk and figuring out what you're truly what truly lights you up what are you truly looking for and i feel like it all comes from your heart especially with this ask how to bring balance to the situation into your heart i feel like there could be a little bit of this inner battle inner battle going on of like do i follow my logic do i follow my brain do i follow what maybe my community expects me to do or do i follow my heart and what truly lights me up and what truly makes me happy right so this could be about um you know you wanting to pursue a certain career but your society your family your friends don't really approve of it don't really support you in it and i'm here to tell you that your inner child wants to feel safe in pursuing something that they love first of all they want to pursue something that they love right they want to have fun they want to play they're a little kid right they're inner your inner little kid they just want to play they just want to have fun they just want to have good days and i feel like if you're doing something that you don't love then maybe there is a lot of probability for that to not happen right but your inner child also wants to feel safe while playing and because like if you don't feel safe while you're playing then it doesn't feel really like playing it feels like oh my god i need to get out of here i need to run away right and i kind of feel like you cannot feel safe while playing if you're still con connecting with these people or if you're listening to them and that's really easier said than done 
I absolutely feel that. But um, sometimes you just have to ask yourself, what do you value the most? Do you value the most your life and the future of your life? Or pleasing the people around you and maybe forgetting a little bit about yourself for you to not hurt or to not make other people uncomfortable with your choices. And in the end, it's always your life and it's always always your choice. And the thing here is the true people for you are never going to make you feel unsafe, are never going to make you feel reckless, stupid for following your dream, for doing what makes you happy, for going your own way. The true, Your true people, the people that are there and supposed to be there for you, they are always going to be happy for your accomplishments. They are always going to support you in doing something that lights you up. And that is not to say that if you're doing something dangerous, your family and friends are going to be like, oh yeah, totally do it. They're going to be like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, this is very dangerous. Like, please consider it, right? They're going to care for you and they're going to be worried about you. But I don't feel like that is the case. I don't feel like you're, you know going into a life or death situation i feel like there's just a crossroads it's just a decision in your life and i know that putting the word just feels very like oh you're totally you know making this very light more light than it actually is but it actually is light i am getting this feeling um there's a card in this deck which is like um zoom out none of this matters something like that where it's like this is just a moment in your life of a bunch of years, right? This particular moment, it's just a dot in all of your years of life. And this life is just a dot in all of your lifetimes, if you believe in past lives and all that, right? And all of your lifetimes are just a dot in this whole world, in this whole universe, right? So if you zoom out a little bit, it's like, you know what? What if... I follow my heart and I do what makes me happy. If that doesn't work, I have another lifetime to to go and do something that makes sense. You know, what if, and here's another perspective, what if the community that actually needs you and the community that is actually looking for you and wanting your support and supporting you is the community of your ancestors, the community of your past lives, of the people that could not follow their dreams because of society and those limiting beliefs and everything happening around them what if you are the answer what if you are the change what if you can be the change what if you can transform your whole past life in just lifetime cycle what if you can be the change that you in past lives were looking for and that sounds very daunting but it also sounds at least for me, <laughs> you know, but uh, everyone is different. But that is also a sign that you can accomplish great things because you have so much support from your ancestors and angels and guides in the universe. And you are never alone. First of all, you're never alone from your guides, but you're also never alone with the people that truly matter, with the people that are really there for you and that really are meant to be in your life. Okay? And I feel like right now it, it is really necessary. Your inner child is really asking you, can we have fun? Can we play? Can we, can we be ourselves? More than anything, can we be ourselves? And again, I feel like it's all, it's up to you. It's truly up to you. If you want to follow what is logic and what people are expecting of you, or if you want to just, you know what? Let's give this a shot. Why not? Let's be happy. Let's be ourselves. And maybe let's cut the people that are not really there for us and that don't really make f sense for us anymore. And that's a very tough thing to do and new requires courage. But if you're being faced with that decision, it's because you are exactly in the place where you need to be to make that decision. It's because you have the courage, you have the strength, and you also have the people that are part of your life, that are supposed to be part of your life, waiting for you to find them. But you need to make room for them, okay? And if this is family, um, that's always a bit more complicated, but it is also a matter of, you know, there are two perspectives here. Family 
should be the first to really have your back, right? But also, there's that saying of like, friends are the family you choose. So you can find family somewhere else. And when it comes to family, it, it's when you, we're talking about cutting a family member, it's never about, you know, never talk to them again or something like that. It's just about not putting, not asking for their opinions, just doing it and informing them. It is also about not considering them, but still maintaining that, you know, I still love you, you're still family, but I'm going to do my thing. Okay, so again, all of these things like this is your inner child asking, can you please be the parent that I didn't have? I need you to be the parent. I need you to choose what is best for me. Your inner child is really like, I, I get this feeling of like your inner child is screaming at you like, please, please look at me, at, at me. Please give me attention. Please like allow me to be happy. And it is up to you to listen to your inner child, okay? But we also have here wisdom and we have hidden depths. So I really feel like with this, um, so much green here. Um, I, I really feel like your heart chakra is really calling to you. That is the color of the, of the heart chakra. And I feel like it is really asking you to um, pay attention to your heart, pay attention to your emotions, give it a little bit of love, give it a little bit of attention and see what it is trying to tell you because I feel like with this wisdom your heart has the wisdom your heart has everything that it needs for you to be happy and especially with this hidden depths I really feel like um when you expose when we expose what what's hidden we become free and I feel like you have a strong deep desire to follow something and I feel like it is career I really get that um I feel like you have a strong deep desire to pursue something and I feel like it's exactly what you need okay and I feel like it comes from a really deep place um that is your heart and it is the love that you have for that okay i want you to know it is safe for you to pursue this okay it is safe for you to pursue this and i'm even getting this energy of like you you may feel intimidated by the task itself because maybe like let's say you want to be an artist and you feel like you don't have the talent or you don't have what it takes to be a to to be a successful artist I feel like you have already been practicing for so many years, especially with this wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? It could be that you have a natural talent because with that thing of like the ancestors and ancestors rooting for you and wanting you to be the change that they couldn't be. Um, it could be that you have been practicing this career path for so many years, but has a side hustle, has a side thing that no one could know about, that no one that they or that they could never really pursue and so you already have that talent it's already with within you so it's just a matter of awakening it and it's already there you don't even have to of course you have to put in the effort and um improve that talent even further and remember it piece by piece but i feel like it's essentially about remembering it you know it's already yours so we also have here faith wow <laughs> and we have self-worth this is amazing so I really feel like with this self-worth, it's definitely understanding that you deserve to be happy. You deserve to um, create the things that you want. This throne, this spotlight, you deserve it, okay? You truly deserve it. And I feel like with this faith, it's about having faith that you are protected and that you are safe. And I really feel like your intuition is connected with your heart. So your feelings and your the truest desires are always going to lead the way because that is the way that your guides communicate to you, Okay? And I really feel like you're birthing new things and you're creating so many wonderful, um, so many wonderful things into your life. And I feel like it's about to get a lot happier and, and I feel like it's going to go a lot better than you expected to go. Okay, but let's see here. We also have healing. We have a rewrite your story. You are on the right path. What are your dreams telling you? And be careful, there's uh, something is wrong here. And I really feel like it's that thing. Be careful who you ask advice from. Be careful who uh, you're listening to. Because I really feel like you have places to go. You are on the right path. Your heart is leading you on the right path. Okay? Maybe the Amethyst Pal could also have a message for you there. But I really feel like your intuition, your guides are trying to communicate to you so damn hard. They're trying to tell you so much 
um, and it is up to you to listen to them. Okay, it is up to you to kind of with this rewrite your story. It's like rewrite your ancestral story. Like I feel like this is so huge. I feel like your inner child is like, um, I, I would even say like this is the inner child of an ancestor that could be coming through because it's really begging you to to listen and to be the change. It's really, it, I really feel like it's begging you to move forward and to go. Like, let's play, let's make this happen. Like, I want to do this, you know? Um, and I really feel like they don't feel safe around someone here or some people. And they're really asking you, please remove them from your life because um, we need the space for us to pursue our dreams. Okay, so what are your dreams? And please know that you're on the right path when it comes to those. But also with this faith and all this intuition and ancestors, they are definitely communicating with you. So pay attention to your dreams because you could be receiving a lot of information from there. Okay, so let's get here into your tarot. Let me just go and charge my computer. Because we're running out of battery. Oh, goodness. Okay. There we go. But let's see here. Your tarot. We have the Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. We also have the Tower and Temperance. Woo! We love this. Absolutely love this. Because I feel like we even have here like this angel, right? So it's like your ancestor is being really proud of you. But um, I really feel like with this Nine of Wands, it's like you feel blocked from something maybe you, you even feel blocked in a general sense of like I feel like something could be happening in my life I feel like I deserve more but I feel like everything is blocked and it's because you're blocking yourself by listening to these people and not allowing yourself to be who you want to be and be authentic okay and I feel like there's a lot of fear here of disappointing others but I feel like you should ask yourself if you're not disappointing yourself in the first place by not listening to your heart and again I'll say this again you are never going to disappoint people by following your heart. True people, your true soul family, you're never going to disappoint them from, for being happy. Okay? So I really feel like your inner child is wanting to break free and be the adult. Be the parent that I need you to be for me to follow my dreams. Be the supporter I need you to be for me to follow my dreams. And like stand up for me. I feel like that is something that your inner child is begging you to do. But let's look into your message. I'm sorry I disappointed you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I really feel like you're... Because it, it, it's that thing. We were just talking about, like, you may be scared of disappointing someone, but are you disappointing yourself? And I feel like you really need to ask yourself that. Because you deserve so much, and you deserve to follow all your dreams. You deserve to be happy. Your inner child deserves that as well. That little, like your inner child is essentially like the little you when you were like, well, it depends the, the inner child that is coming through, but um, I always see it has my four-year-old self. <laughs> um, that is the little you that is asking you to be happy. So, yeah. Maybe uh, when you were nine years old, that could be significant. But let's see here, what else would your inner child like to say? What other messages do we have for file number one? I'm proud of you. Aww. There we go. Come play with me. Yeah. What else would your in child have strong? I don't like being around them. Why did I tell you? I really feel like there is someone here that you kind of need to let go of. We even have here childhood hobby. So it could be um, a childhood hobby that we were talking about that it's like, in the past it was always in the past like in past lives it was always a hobby and now i really feel like it can be something else and i feel like your inner child is saying like you are so strong i really need you to be that parent i really need you to be that adult and stand up for me because i believe in you and i'm proud of you and i know that we can accomplish so much so let's have fun let's play and let, let's make our our dream life a reality and you can make that happen you are on the right path for you to do that okay i don't know who to be yeah there we go with the authenticity. Be kinder to yourself and me. So I, re I really feel like your inner child just wants to be free. Just wants to be allowed to follow their heart. And this is you. That is a part of you that wants to be listened to and that wants to be acknowledged. 
So maybe you want to pursue something that really connects you with your heart. And you deserve to do that. Okay? So yeah. Pile number one. Today we di- we dove, dove. I think so. <laughs> but we went really deep. And I really hope that this was something that you needed to hear. And that it was... Um, it gave you a little push into let's make this happen but this is what I have for you so thank you so much for being here don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe haven't already if this reading resonated and you liked this type of thing I would really love to have you here and if you want to support me any further we can get a private reading you can join my patreon for weekly messages you can tip me whatever you feel called to do um it's all very much appreciated and maybe give a look into the previous in a child pick a card um, that I mentioned in the intro, could it could have some further messages for you there. But with that being said, thank you so much for being here. Um, I wish you the freaking best. I love you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hello, my pal number two. Welcome into your reading. If you chose the Aquamarine, you're exactly where you need to be. Let's put this aside. I was actually starting this reading by saying hello, hello, pal number three. Then I had to repeat that one <laughs> because you're not pal number three. But if you feel called to the Amethyst pal. Um, maybe there are further messages for you there, okay? So maybe watch those two readings. But, of course, only if you feel called to. But, let's get right into it. Before we look into these cards, I just want to say that, you know, when I was kind of shuffling your cards and picking up in your energy, I was getting this really strong feeling of excitement. Like, I feel like your inner talk could be very bubbly. There's, there's, um, this fiery energy of, I don't know, being very lighthearted and I'm also hearing like wild imagination and very hopeful, very dreamy, like everything is possible. I can achieve the world. Like I'm going to conquer the world. So I feel like your inner child feels really excited about something that you're doing right. I, I feel called to uh, reassure you on that. It's like you're doing something right. Great job. <laughs> but I feel like your inner child is really joyful right now and maybe it wants to um, say, I actually already, you can kind of see the message that well actually what the heck you can kind of see the the message here thank you i really feel like your inner child is just this reading could be very sweet and gentle and just like thank you so much for doing this like oh, i'm so happy <laughs> so let's see what it is actually about we have take a chance on them oh we also have the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer this is so sweet birthing a new age ah oh. Worthy new creations, dreaming a new world into being, and Kundalini rising with the snake. Channel your creative passion and sensuality. You welcome the transformation. So this could definitely be um, something about like uh, something creative that you're doing, or like um, a passion that you're pursuing. Maybe this is literally about a relationship with take a chance on them, right? But I feel like you're taking a chance on something. I feel like you're being hopeful and excited about something and that reflects in your inner child and it's definitely saying like oh my god I'm so excited for this <laughs> uh and it, it almost feels like your inner child feels like it's growing up um to me uh, to be honest there is uh this is beautiful there is this feeling of like your inner child seeing you as a role model because like I always see personally I always see my inner child has my four-year-old self and so um it's almost like that little you from a bunch of years ago is looking at you like oh my god that is the person that I'm gonna be that's amazing right and, and so I feel like they're looking at you right now as a role model and they're so proud of you they're so like ah oh, yes we did it and I'm excited to go through this path and I like if you got there then I know I have the strength to overcome any problem any obstacle it, it's like it just feels so lighthearted and so like lifting um lift it up if that makes any sense and I, I really feel like you are getting into new amazing beginnings like keep doing what you're doing I feel like you're being authentic to your voice I feel like you're being um following your heart unconditionally especially with this cosmic card right I feel like you're being devoted to your emotions being devoted to your passions and that is making this inner child so freaking happy because it's really like ah oh. I can breathe. I know that everything is going to be okay. Like I give, I feel like you're giving so much hope to your inner child. Damn. I love this. All right. Let's look into your other messages. We have purity. Oh, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look in, uh, inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. This is so beautiful. And life energy. Yeah. Like this is so lighthearted. This is so pure and gentle. And like in all of these cards, well, not all of these, but uh, in this card, we have this girl, like, arms up and, like, a big light of wall. And it's like, I'm growing, I'm shining. 
life energy. She's growing. She's shining. She's blossoming. She's blooming. And this is you, dude. This is you. You're blooming. You're blooming into your best version. I really feel that. And I feel like you're having so many transformations, so many shifts shifts in your reality. Um, and I really feel like, especially with this unicorn coming through, there is, um, I, I'm hearing like some sort of blessing. Some sort of blessing is coming through for you very soon that I feel like it's going to be exactly what you're looking for. I'm hearing a breakthrough and I do feel like it is in some sort of success. Um, it could obviously be like success of a relationship, success of a career, success of a, a hobby and that creative pursuit. But I really feel like you're, I, I'm kind of hearing the worst is over. Like the cycle is over, the transformation is over. Now it's all about ripping rewards. Now it's all about let's do this. Let's let's move forward because I know I ha I have this, you know, and you kn I know I've got this. Um, so it's like your inner child feels so confident. Like ah, oh, I love this. Um, we also have your quest and recovery. And it's interesting that we have more throat chakra energy here. So I really feel like you're, again, being very authentic to yourself. And with this recovery, this third eye, uh, third eye chakra energy, um, there is a strong sense of you following your intuition, your heart. Because this is amazing because we kind of have all of the chakras here. We have the third eye chakra, we have the throat chakra, hugely. We have a lot of, uh, we have here this uh, yellow, so solar plexus, we have... Uh, the kundalini here with the um, sacral chakra i'm even getting with this like birthing a new age and all of that light we have the crown chakra the only one that may not be here a hundred percent is the root chakra and the 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 heart chakra but we have that here cosmic heart heart chakra check and then the root chakra this would not be possible if you hadn't if you, if you hadn't become the version of yourself today so the root chakra is also here and I feel like it is coming from this purity. It's like you're fully aligned with who you're meant to be. You're fully aligned with your most authentic version. So I feel like your chakras are like fully aligned. Like this is huge. And I really feel like you're entering this amazing stage. I almost feel like this is more of a, a message from your spirit guides or something than actually a message from your inner child. But I feel like it also applies. Um, but I feel like you're creating so many amazing things. And I really feel like with this quest um you're getting into new beginnings that sometimes may feel very daunting but i feel like it's a thing i feel like you have the confidence the courage to go towards it not question it a single bit i feel like you believe in yourself um maybe this is also like this is a message from your inner child maybe your inner child is seeing that potential it's so dreamy and excited and hopeful that it is telling you like be excited please be excited be hopeful see your potential like i can see us thrive and i can see us um like being the the queen king of our kingdom or queendom right and we can accomplish so much we can grow so much we can have so much like believe in yourself uh, i feel like i feel like your inner child is kind of giving you a pep talk but i really feel like you're headed into new powerful beautiful directions and you deserve them you hugely deserve them but let's see we have go crazy yeah we have something needs to end for sure we also have stop and self-codependency i really feel like with this stop and self-codependency is that thing stop doubting yourself like dude we've got this like your inner child is so uh like totally on board with this new beginning and, and totally again excited for it and he truly believes in you um, so with this go crazy, it's like your inner child is really saying, please take a chance on that. Please take a chance on this relationship. Please take a chance on this situation, this career, this hobby, this home, this just new beginning, this new chapter in your life, because the worst is over. Your transformation is over. Now it's just a matter of you taking that first step towards that new reality, towards that dream fulfilled, um, the life of your dreams. And you've got this. So the biggest thing here is like, please do not stop yourself you are the only one that can stop us please do not stop ourselves and get going wow all right let's see what we have here we have the moon in reverse seven of cups we have the eight of wands and we have the seven of swords yeah so is essentially what we were just talking about um I i'm getting with this moon in reverse i'm getting this message of like your dreams are not too big 
for you. And with the Seven of Swords, that thing, please don't doubt yourself and please don't, um, don't be so hard on yourself because you've got this, okay? And I really feel like you are on the right path. Maybe especially pay attention to feathers because um, I feel like, like birds in general because we even have here a dragon and everything. Um, I feel like those could give you big hints of like you're on the right path. But I feel like, okay, your, your inner child is so excited that it, it's like so many messages coming through at the same time. But um, one of the messages was that it's like, please don't doubt yourself. Your dreams are not too big for you. And I'm even getting this feeling of you may be looking into um, like different options or like making plans A, B, C, D, E, like from A to Z, um, just so you can be reassured that there is always going to be a way out if this doesn't work. And I feel like your inner child doesn't want you to think of if this doesn't work. Believe that it will. You know, I, I feel like with this eight of ones, there is this feeling of like, all you have to do is light up that match. All you have to do is start it, is take that chance, take that leap of faith. That is going to change your whole freaking world because then that match is going to light up that match and that and that and that and that and that and that and, that and, and the second you know you're going to have your whole life figured out and your dream life right at your doorstep but you have to take that first step so I really feel like your inner child is asking you please believe in yourself let's do this go crazy I believe in us we're gonna make this happen like your inner child is such a believer <laughs> it's such a dreamer um, and I feel like they're not wrong. That is the thing. I feel like they're not wrong and they're totally supportive of you. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what they would like to say. We have that. Thank you. So again, thank you for pursuing this. Thank you for making this happen. What would, um, I actually think there was the card believe here. Um, but what would pal twos in the child like to say? What would you like to say, kiddo? Yeah, there we go. We have Dreamer. This is so beautiful. Like, I really feel like your inner child has so much faith in you. So much, um, I don't know. I really feel like they believe in you, dude. They just want to see you happy. And they know that this path would make you happy. So what would pal number two's inner child? Come on, kiddo. We have independent. Yes. We have a need your help. Yeah, because it's like, I have all of these dreams. I know that we can make it happen. But it's up to you to make it happen. Right? It's like, you're the, um, I don't know, you're the, how many old, year, years old you are, uh, version of me. My four-year-old self. Our four-year-old self. So, you are the one responsible right now. You're the one that has the tools to make this happen. Like, you need to make that happen for me to have dreams as a little kid, <laughs> you know? So I feel like your, your inner child is kind of being a little bit bossy <laughs> and being like, come on, older me, we need, we need to make this happen. But I know that I love you, okay? So I'm just, I'm just pushing you. It's a kind push, <laughs> a kind push that you probably need. But I really feel like you're going to be met with so much success. Because like your inner child believes in it. So it's because it's true. If your inner child believes in it, it's because it's true and you're going to be met with a really, really beautiful um, destiny and a really beautiful, yeah, I'm really getting like destiny in, in the sense of destination. You know, it's like the destination is going to be beautiful, but I feel like the journey will be too. Um, it may, you may be faced with, of course, um, with this quest, you may be, of course, be faced with some fears and challenges and all that but your inner child truly believes that you can overcome them because you're beautiful you're independent you're a dreamer and you deserve this it's as simple as that you deserve this so if you deserve this it's yours all right so pal number two this is so great ah, i love this reading it was so like woohoo <laughs> so i really hope you enjoyed it too um, definitely smash like button for me and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you did, 
But if you want to support me any further, we can get a private reading. You can join my Patreon for weekly messages. Um, you can also tip me if you feel called to. But uh, just being here and just smashing the like button is enough. And it already supports and helps me so freaking much. So, yeah. You're awesome. And I love you very much. I wish you the best. And hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, my pal number three. Welcome into your reading. So, if you chose the Amethyst... You're definitely on the right place. We're going to put this to the side because this is going to be our last message. Uh, and let's get right into it. So I was actually, when I was shuffling your cards and connecting with your energy, I was actually picking up on this um, feeling of worry and fear, but especially worry. I feel like there is a worry of like, uh, and I'm even here, it's hearing like this um, little child with puppy eyes, like, did I do something wrong? Like... Is everything okay? Did I mess things up? Um, so maybe your inner child needs a little bit of reassurance. Maybe your inner child is scared of the unknown. Maybe your inner child is scared of taking the wrong turn or something. But let's see where we go with that. We have mirror. Treat your body like the palace it is. We also have here earth it. Learning how to be human in the world but not of it. We have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? And we have Penguin, Diamond Light Activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. Okay. I kind of feel like this is an energy of the past. Because again, there is this worry. Or maybe, you know, it, it's a, this, I feel like it's a decision that you have to make. Even here with this warrior woman, it, it almost feels like the Queen of Swords and having to be cut clear in some direction. Having to make some sort of decision. Um... And I kind of feel like there is this feeling of your inner child may be worried of if I follow this path that I truly desire and I truly want, right? Have you answered your deepest calling? If I truly desire what my body is asking me to do, what my heart is asking me to do, maybe it will be the wrong turn. Maybe it will be the wrong thing for me to do. Maybe I will mess things up. Maybe I will just ruin everything. But I feel like there is this feeling of you never know, <laughs> you know, uh, that, that it's definitely not very reassuring. I know, but you, you will never know. That is literally the whole like, human experience. You never know what's going to happen next. You never know what your life is going to look like. It's like, or you may know, and maybe that is kind of the message here. You may know with visualization and truly believing in yourself and truly believing in the power of your heart and making the decisions from your heart. Um, there you know you know that you're maybe you know that you're going to be safe no matter what that you're always going to be on the right path because you're protected right um but being a human being it's all about making decisions being a human being it's all about trying to go through the path that feels a little bit happier and feels like it can bring a little bit more joy but sometimes you get a curveball, right? And sometimes things don't really work that way. But life is challenging. And you wouldn't be faced with this moment right here, right now, that you're being faced with. If you didn't have the courage, the power, exactly what it takes for you to overcome it. Exactly what it takes for you to make it happen, right? So I feel like there is this feeling of like your inner child is trying to ask you for reassurance. And maybe you need to give your assurance to yourself that if our body, your, our hearts are begging us and guiding us in a certain direction, it's because there's something for us there. There is something for us to discover. There is something for us to become. Ooh. There is something for us to become. And I truly believe that where every path that we take and every decision that we make takes us to that best version of ourselves if we're doing from an authentic hard place right like one of the the first advices that i've ever gotten and that i was hearing it until today <laughs> is it, it was from my brother my older brother and he would always say follow your heart i would have questions like follow your heart <laughs> and i was like what the heck does that mean give me more information but that is it follow your heart follow your deepest calling follow what brings you joy Follow what truly makes you happy. Wear the clothes that make you happy. Be the person that makes you happy being. 
you know? Make the actions that bring you the most joy. And sometimes that's not easy because being happy is not easy, actually. It is a choice that you have to make. You have to choose to be happy. And sometimes it's tough to get out of a tough place. But you always have a choice. You always have the choice to be happy. And, like, this is taking so many turns. (laughs) Uh, Because I feel like I'm going through so many topics. But I feel like it all comes down to a decision. There's a decision that you have to make. And I feel like it all comes down to all of these things. So it is a decision to be happy. So you have two choices here, two paths to go. Which one makes you happier? Which one respects you more? Which one brings you more fear? All of those things are going to tell you the path to take. Because the one that brings you more fear is the one that is going to take you to the biggest growth and the biggest reward. The biggest risk you take, the biggest... same thing as a casino, right? The biggest the the, the risk, the biggest the uh, what you give, <laughs> the biggest you take, the biggest you receive back. So there's a little bit of this. Be open to receive and welcome them in. For you to do that, you have to be open to dream. You have to be open to put your heart out there and believe that you can make things happen. Okay, but let's look into more cards. Have lost and found. We have Magical Gateway, wow. We also have Discovery and Passion. My goodness, this is so beautiful. So I really feel like with this Lost and Found um, and this Passion, there is really this feeling of, I feel like a part of you has been awakened um, and Discovery and everything. A part of you has woken up and now it is up to you to decide what you want to do about it. And this could be about a relationship, it could be about a job, literally a passion like a creative passion a hobby it could be about anything that passion is the key for something great it is the key for you to be that best version of yourself and i kind of have this feeling like (laughs) maybe it's because i'm channeling but i kind of have this feeling like you may have to go back and watch the reading from the beginning once again just to assimilate everything and to make sense of everything um because I feel like there are so many messages that are coming through from my inner child that are are all relevant. Um, but I feel like they're all very different as well, you know. But I really feel like essentially it is trying to tell you that there's a decision that you need to make. There is a path that you need to take that is going to be bold. It's going to require courage and a lot of faith. And a lot of strength and power and determination for you to go through it. But the reward in the end, crazy. So crazy. And I really feel like you need to reassure that inner child that following your heart is safe. Following your heart is something that you're allowed to do. And I feel called to read this part here. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. So I really feel like there is something here about like you may be, um, I'm getting this feeling of like you may be holding on to something from the past and because maybe in the past you were following your heart and in the past that made sense to you, now you're afraid of doing that again because like I may mess it up again, right? That little, that little kid in the beginning that was like, did, did I do the wrong thing? Was this the wrong thing to do? Did I mess things up? Again, you'll never know until you go towards it. You never know until you pursue it and you make it happen. And until you have, as long as you have a belief and a, a vision, a clear vision, you're always going to be on the right path. Um, and I feel like it would be important for you to perhaps look into... Um, Things that didn't work in the past. Like, let's make this a simple example. Let's say this is about a relationship that you want to take a leap of faith towards. Um, Maybe in the past, you have followed your heart before, right? You had feelings for someone. You thought that it would be good. You went towards it. Turned out to be toxic. That is something that was supposed to happen. Because look at your growth now. 
look at the person that you are now compared to the person that you were when you were first entering that relationship. You were so different and you have learned so much. So your heart was leading you in the right direction because your heart was leading you into the best version of yourself. And the best version of yourself does, deserves to be happy. But you can, um, how do I phrase this? It's like for you to be truly happy and the truly, truly the best version of yourself, you need to learn things, right? That's how to human. <laughs> That's how to be a human being in this world. Um, and I feel like there could be this feeling of, you needing to look into the past and kind of reframe a little bit the story that you're telling yourself about those past relationships or those past situations where your passions didn't work where your uh the career wasn't really the right one for you you may need to review those things a little bit and see the purpose the beautiful loving purpose that he had in the end even if it was toxic and i feel like i, I feel like you have grown and you have learned so much from all of those experiences. And I feel like you should give yourself some credit. And you should give your heart some credit. Okay? And I really feel like now your inner child wants to know if it is safe to jump into this. Um, and it is up to you to reassure that it, yes it is. Just because that happened in the past doesn't mean that it's going to happen again. Because we are constantly evolving. We're constantly um, learning new things. And we can make this happen. Alright? But let's see here what else we have. We have Go With The Flow. Free like a bird. Yep. Small things matter to you and the situation is not what it seems. I really feel like there is this feeling of, I don't know what to believe in. I don't know. Um, I'm, af I'm afraid. I feel like your inner child is wanting to say, I'm afraid of being hopeful. I'm afraid of believing in this new path because it's so unclear of where it is going. But I feel like with this, the situation is not what it seems. It is saying that it is possible for it to be great. And you don't have to take big leaps of faith. Sometimes it's just a little step. Sometimes it's just a little nudge. Just a little, okay, let's let's take it one step at a time. It's just about allowing it, right? Be open to receive and welcome them in. It's just about allowing it. You don't have to say, let's get married, right? If this is about a relationship, you don't have to say, let's get married. It's just about, okay, maybe I want this. Maybe maybe this, is, this can be good for me. It's about believing, all right? And I feel like your inner child wants to believe, but it's scared of believing. And you're in charge of your inner child, right? So if you believe, and if you tell them that it's okay to believe, they are going to believe. And they are going to be okay with believing. And I feel like they're really wounded and hurt by something in the past that you may need to review. Okay? And get a different perspective on it. But let's put some tarot in this. We have the star. Ah, oh, beautiful. We have the eight of pentacles. Okay, that's interesting we have the two of pentacles and we have the king of wands um so again there is a little bit with this two of pentacles a little bit of this back and forth like should i take the risk should i not should i push things forward should i not should i hold back the thing is you made a wish that wish is here this is it okay it takes courage to venture into the unknown yet there is where the greatest rewards are okay greatest rewards and I really feel like this whole situation is going to lead you to the greatest rewards. And I really feel like with this, um, this is not what it seems in the Eight of Pentacles. I kind of wanted to flip it around like, no, the Eight of Pentacles doesn't exist. Which is, you may think that you have to put in a lot of effort. Put in a lot of um, work for it to, to work. For, put in a lot of um, actions and just do a lot for it to be something. And I feel like with that, it's saying, you don't. It can be as easy as breathing. It can be, it's that thing, you don't have to take big steps, you can just take one little small step. And I really feel like you can make something so great happening here. Um, you've got this, dude. And I really feel like it is important that you look at your growth. I, I keep hearing that, like, look at how much you've grown from your previous relationship to where you are right now from your previous job to where you are right now look at yourself like two three years ago maybe even look at yourself in 10 years ago and see how much you have changed that is something you should be proud of that is what you need to acknowledge to feel more confident in pursuing this 
And your dreams deserve to be heard. Your dreams deserve to be there, okay? Your heart deserves to be followed. All right? So let's put some messages for me in a child. We have, don't let them hurt me. So there we go. A lot of fear around like um, doing the wrong thing, getting hurt and all of those things. But are you really a human if you don't take risk? You're essentially just surviving. You're just being an animal, right? If you don't take risks, if you do take risks, if you allow yourself to follow your heart and to live life, then you're being a human, you know, then you're truly living life. Brave, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're, you're in a child that's like, we can be brave, we can make this happen. But at the same time, so scared. So it's that thing, it's, it's truly that crossroads um, and that worry of like, ah, oh, am I going to do the right thing? I'm so scared. But at the same time, your inner child sees you as so brave. And it's like, if my older version of me can't do it, I'm going to be so proud of, my, of them and I'm going to believe in me, you know? So it's like your actions today uh, kind of influence the little kid in you. Um, and can, you can, I really feel like this, this leap of faith, it can bring you so much joy, so much happiness. So let's see here, what else would, ooh, okay. We have dreamer, so please dream away. We have we deserve better. Yeah. Let's see. What would pawn number three's in child like to say? Can we get one more? Have music. Oh. And we also have kind. Um ooh, we are enough. Yeah. You are enough to have these dreams and you deserve a lot better than what you were faced with in the past. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, that is the allowing, that is the being open to receiving, right? Just maybe this could be something good. It is about believing in that. It is about understanding that you were manifesting something and you deserve to have that manifestation. And you are enough to have that manifestation, okay? And with this music, maybe pay attention to music. Maybe this is about you expressing yourself through music. But I'm even hearing uh, with this free like a bird and music, there's, you know, an expression of emotions. Um, it could be about you allowing yourself to express your heart, to be open and vulnerable, something like that. Maybe, again, maybe with your passion, maybe this is about putting your heart out there into a creative pursuit. But I really feel like your heart has the key, okay? So, my pile number three, this is what I have for you. I really hope this resonated and helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. Um, and that is the easiest way for you to support me. If you want to dive deeper into this, you can check out my prior readings. You can also check out my Patreon for weekly messages. And if you feel called to, you can also tip me through super things here on YouTube or buy me a coffee. But all of those links are going to be down below. So, um, if you feel called to support me any further, that will be the place to look. But with that being said, Thank you so much for being here. I wish you the best. I love you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, my pal number four. Welcome into your reading. If you chose the end of light, you are definitely in the right place. We are going to put these to the side. It can be here. Because um, those are going to be the last messages that we are going to pick. Um, and first, we're going to look here into some oracles. So before we get into those, I was actually getting this feeling of like your inner child watching or you you know, you're all connected, but uh, you're kind of watching from the sidelines. It's like there could be something that you're wanting to do, but you're kind of hesitating. That that seems to be like a common theme for these readings today. But um, there is this feeling of like watching your dreams pass you by or something like that, or feeling like an opportunity has passed. And I don't know, I feel like your inner child kind of wants to adventure, kind of wants to feel brave. Yeah, that's something. I want to feel brave. I want to do this. Um, and, and so I feel like there's almost like a demand <laughs> from your inner child, like we're no longer watching from the sidelines, we're going to make this happen. So let's see where we go with that. But we have here Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. Oh, I'm always enough. Yeah. We also have Forge and Follow, Paving Your Path, Be the Little Wish You Had. This is so amazing. Uh, Akasha, Your Guidance is Eventually Guided. This is my favorite card, absolutely. Um, and we have Horse, Free Spirit, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. Yeah, it's so interesting because I really feel like, especially with you picking the Angelite, um, there is a big connection there with your guides, right? And I almost feel like your inner child could be like uh, a spirit guide of yours, right? 
uh, I mean, it, it always is, but it's almost like your inner child is this little angel that is really saying, let's go. You know, I feel like there is this feeling of like, we, you have a green light to get going. You have a green light to pursue this. Um, and I really feel like you want to do something here that is truly aligned with yourself. Uh, your guidance is divinely guided. Your heart, your intuition is leading you in a certain way. It's because it's guided and it's meant for you. Okay. And I feel like with this horde, free spirit is that thing. Let's break free and let's make this happen. Let's forget about our limitations. Let's forget about our insecurities. Let's just be happy. Let's just make this happen. Let's just make our dreams come true. And I feel like with this freedom to express your creativity, I feel like it's in general, freedom to express yourself. Um, I don't know. I feel like I see your inner child very like empowered. And I'm also, uh, I'm seeing this like little kid in a superhero cape um which was actually the thumbnail for my previous in a child rating um in a child pick a card actually but i am kind of seeing that image of like your inner child is feeling so brave it's feeling so empowered and it's like we're gonna make this happen it's like <laughs> not not really throwing is a, a tantrum but it kind of feels that way it's like your inner child is like no i'm no longer watching all the little kids playing in the in the playground from the sidelines. I'm going to go there. I'm going to be brave. Maybe there is this feeling of, especially with don't doubt your worth. It's like maybe your inner child was always afraid of connecting with other people, right? Of connecting with the other kids, of going there to the playground and maybe um, getting hurt. A fear of getting hurt. A fear of other people bullying them or make them feel less than what they are um there there is this strong fear of do i have the courage like do i have the courage to make this happen and i feel like your inner child is at this place where it's like yes i do yes i do have the courage to make this happen yes i can make this happen um and i actually wouldn't be surprised if one of the oracle cards that we get would be that you can do it because there is truly this feeling of like we can do this let's go and I, I really feel like your inner child is starting to step into that playground and is starting to um, really believe that it can have fun. And I feel like you can have fun in this new path of yours. So if there is anything that you want to pursue, if there's anything that you want to jump towards, take a leap of faith towards, your inner child is saying, we can do this. We're going to make this happen. And I feel like they're excited about it as well. So we also have here friendship. Aww. And we have magical blessings. This is so beautiful. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So maybe your inner child wants you to connect more with inspiring people. That's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like your inner child wants you to allow yourself to see others as a role model. Allow yourself to see others as an inspiration for you to make your dreams come true. I'm also getting something around like, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for opinions. For example, there is... Um, I don't know, you want to be a musician and there is this musician that you really love. Um, don't be afraid to DM them, like something like that, or there's like a meet and greet. Don't be afraid to ask them the questions that you truly want to ask. Worst case scenario, they don't answer you. <laughs> that, is, that is the worst case scenario. But if they do answer you, maybe they can give you really valuable information, right? But even, for example, reading biographies, watching their interviews, seeing what they did, how did they grow, what was their life like? Like, what was their growth? What was their, their progress um, and their process as well, for example? Um, I feel like that could bring you a lot of information, valuable information that could boost your confidence and could really get you in the place that you want to be. Um, I'm also getting something around, like, let your animal side come out. Um, so maybe your inner child is wanting you to be, it definitely wants that, it definitely wants you to be bolder and be wilder, you know, like dream big, be wild and believe in yourself. Yeah. And I, I feel like, especially with these magical blessings is believe, believe in yourself, you know, believe that you can make this happen. Believe that you can have your dream fulfilled. And I'm even getting here with this we have with this magical blessings we have the fairies say you can bless others too i feel like your inner child also believes that you can inspire others it's like you are inspired by others but maybe you can also inspire others and it can have a lot of impact because i feel like your inner child really sees the potential here um but we have forgiveness 
And we have abundance. Look at that. Yeah. I really feel like this can go so far. And I feel like with this forgiveness, it's like your inner child is wanting to... I even feel like <laughs> it's like it should be the other way around of like you assuring and um, I don't know, just giving love to your inner child. And I feel like your inner child is like, Shh, let me love you. <laughs> like, let me give you the pep talk. Um, and I don't know, it, it's kind of giving the reassurance that it was okay if you didn't do this before, if you didn't do this earlier. You know, it is okay for you to take your time and gain that courage. It was okay for us to take so long to realize that this is what we have to do, that this is our path, that this is our life purpose, right? It is okay. It is okay. And I feel like your inner child really wants you to know that, but it also wants that reassurance, right? Because it's it's you. But So I really feel like you, you could need to forgive yourself and be like, it is okay for us not doing this sooner, because maybe we needed to not do this sooner. You know, maybe we needed to still learn so many things and acquire all of this inspiration and connect with the right people, get the right tools. But now I feel like you're ready. Now I feel like you're ready. And so that's why I feel like your inner child is pushing you into, okay, we've watched the kids enough to know how not to fall. So now let's go. Okay, but let's see. Follow your heart, so beautiful. Believe, oh, we also have do something that matters and take a step back, relaxing the pizza. So we did not get the, you can do it. But um, we do have this like, <laughs> follow your heart and believe. So it's a little bit similar to that. And we especially do something that matters. I really feel like your inner child believes that you can change the world. I feel like your inner child believes that this path can really bring so many blessings to others. Especially with this do something that matters. I always see this has like my, um, charity card. So I feel like your inner child is like, yes, we're going to change the world <laughs> with this, you know? Um, but I, I really feel like more than changing other people's worlds, I feel like um, your inner child believes that you can change your world and give yourself all of the good, positive things that can, um, that, that show up in your life, you know? So with this, take a step back, relax and eat pizza. Um, I feel like your inner child is truly in this place of Let's breathe, let's make a plan, and then let's get going. You know, so, yeah. And I, I feel like with this message here of the take a step back, I feel like there is also this feeling of like, we did it. You know, um, time is not running out. We're exactly where we need to be. Everything happened exactly like we need, like it needed to happen. And we're safe. We're okay. We're going to make this happen. You know, so let's pull here your tarot. We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, we have the Two of Cups. Oh, this is great. All right. We have Justice, King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Um, so for some of you, this could also be about a relationship. Like, with, um, I, I'm even getting like, maybe you have the feeling with someone that you found your person. And it's like, you are enough. You deserve that. You know, don't doubt your worth. Know that you deserve to have this person. And... Maybe there is this, this feeling of this person can change your world, but you can change theirs too. You know, um, <laughs> I'm even getting this feeling of like, come on, like, don't be selfish. <laughs> um, for me in a child, like, I'm getting a very sassy child here. <laughs> but um, there's truly this feeling of like, don't be selfish. Like, you writing that book, you writing that song, you becoming... Um, that doctor is going to change other people's lives. Why don't you do that? Like you can make so many great changes in the world. You pursuing this relationship can change that person's life. You can make them so happy. Why wouldn't you do it? Right? Because it is also going to make you happy. So I really feel like your inner child is encouraging you to follow deeply your heart. Like we have so much uh, beautiful love energy here. And truly follow the things that you love. Truly follow the things that make you feel empowered and balanced as well and i feel like it is truly wanting to say that first of all if this is about career is definitely they truly believe that this is going to lead to a lot of money and a lot of prosperity okay and abundance um i also feel like there is this message of your dreams are not too stupid your dreams are not you're not being foolish 
you're not being foolish because maybe you were afraid of let's say this is about love you're afraid of being a fool in love and and wearing rose colored glasses and not seeing red flags not seeing the things that you need to see to be safe to be okay and i feel like you're supposed to know that you're not being foolish even if it comes to career you're not being foolish this is a dream that is worth pursuing okay this is a relationship that is worth pursuing and i feel like your inner child feels really safe with them and especially with this justice, it's like everything is getting into balance. And it's that thing, we've been gathering the tools for us to be able to make this happen. And like your inner child feels really, really um, safe and ready. Like, I'm ready. It's this. Let's get going. You know, um, this is beautiful. Let's get some messages from them. So we have, you're a road model, model. That is so beautiful. And we have wise. Yeah. There is that thing of like, don't be selfish. You're you're going to be a role model for other people. What are you, what are you what are you waiting for? Come on, we have people to help, you know. But let's see here. And maybe there is this feeling of like, um, special with I'm always enough, right? Don't doubt your worth. It's like maybe you have this thing of like I still have so much to learn. Like I cannot, I, I'm not. I'm not in the place to help other people. Maybe you are, because like the place where you are right now other people or let's put it the other way the way the place that you were before is a place where some people are currently so we've already overcome that you're already somewhere else you're already in the next step so you can help those people right and i don't know i was going to say <laughs> i was going to say that um if this was about a relationship there was also another message but i totally lost it so yeah but there's this strong thing of Oh, I know what it was. But there is a strong thing of like, you're already wise. You already know what you need to know. You already have the tools that you need to have for you to make this happen. For you to be a role model. For you to um, help others. And when it comes to relationships, maybe there is this feeling of like, um, I still need to heal. I need to be 100% completely healed for me to be able to be in a relationship. First of all, you don't. You don't need to be healed 100%. Because you're always, even if you think that you're healed, that's it. You think. You think that you're healed. But it's not linear. It's always an up and down. And you're going to be triggered. And you're going to learn a lot more things. And um, discover wounds that you didn't even know that you had. And you don't need to be 100% completely healed. And I feel like you're, what your inner child is trying to say is that you are healed enough for you to be able to be in this relationship. Okay? So we also have here, you're independent. You're beautiful. <laughs> I really feel like your inner child is like giving you a little pep talk. It's like you're you're everything you're everything we're looking for <laughs> you're you're everything they're looking for you know it could be th this thing of like um the company you're everything the company is looking for the relationship you're everything this person is looking for like you're so amazing why wouldn't they want you um we also have here you've been through worse yeah so it's definitely that thing of um it's definitely that thing of we already did this so we already know how to help people that are going through that right now right but we also have i'm trying to talk to you <laughs> like so sassy it's like listen to me i'm trying to talk to you i'm trying to push us through <laughs> and we also have resilient so yeah i really feel like your inner child sees you have someone so brave and so strong it's like you deserve to help other people and other people deserve to be helped by you wow so I feel like you're going to be a great leader. Um, be the leader wish you had. That makes so much sense right now. With that card. Because I really feel like you can help. Like, I don't know. Let's say you're going through some sort of health condition. That you didn't really have anyone. For example, in social media. You didn't have anyone talking about that. It's the same thing with like the body issues. And body image and all that. Before it was all like, oh, you need to be skinny. And you need to be like that. And the like unrealistic beauty standards and before there there was not a soul that would show the real their real selves right everything was edited and photoshopped now there are those people it's like let me be the leader that i wish i had has a child right let me tell people that it's okay to have cellulite to have belly rolls right to to have like um body hair to have like acne and all of those things 
And maybe there is something around those lines, something that you went through that you can help other people go through and know that it's okay, know that it is safe, know that we're just humans, right? You can help so much people, so many people and I feel like in ways that no one else can, okay? So what a way to finish this pick a card. I loved it. Your inner child was like totally rooting for you and I, I'm totally in for that. But this is what I have for you. Oh, and we even have here. I was just playing around with the deck and these two cards showed up. I love you and powerful. It's like they see you. They love you. Absolutely. And it's like you're so powerful. Like you deserve to, to feel powerful and you deserve to dive deeper into that power. So with that being said, my beautiful pile number four, my beautiful birdie, this is what I have for you. So I really hope this resonated and helped. Um, if it did, don't forget to smash like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. But um, yeah, if you feel called to support me any further, that is the easiest way for you to do so. But if you feel called to support me any further, we can dive deeper into any of this in a private reading. You can also um, check out my Patreon for weekly messages. And you, if you feel excuse me i'm burping a lot that is what that's what happens when you channel but um or at least when i channel but um if you feel called to tip me um you can use super thanks buy me a coffee all of those links are going to be down below so just do whatever you want with your life and with <laughs> with this but yeah so i love it very much i wish you the best and hopefully i will see you in the next one Bye. -bye.